guest is the author of a new book, Gnar! <laughs> or uh, How I Became the Mayor of a Large City in Iceland and Changed the World. It's in stores now. Please welcome the extraordinary ex-mayor of Reykjavik, Iceland, Jón Gnar, everybody! Jón Gnar! To the show. I am I'm so happy that you're here. I'm I, so I'm happy to be here, and I, thank you for having me. Well, I'm I've so always been a great fan of Iceland. I have never been, mm -hmm. uh, I but um, I'm. Why not? I, you know, I, I ask myself the same thing. Yeah. Um, have you ever been to Scotland? No. Why not? <laughs> I always wanted to go there. Well, let's swap. Let's do a sort of swap, <laughs> an exchange program. You go. I'll go and be mayor of Reykjavik. And you can go and uh, be disliked in Scotland. Yeah. I've always actually wanted to go to Orkney. Orkney? Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah the, that's the Northern Islands off the coast of Scotland. Yeah, yeah. I imagine it's probably a bit like Iceland here. Yeah. yeah, probably. <laughs> anyway, uh, I became, I, I'll tell you why I, I became, first of all, I'm about halfway through the book and I think we've lived very similar lives. Yes. You, you were uh, yeah, something of a... A difficult pupil in school, and yeah. uh, you uh, you got into punk rock. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you got. Into I wasn't that much in school. You weren't in trouble. I was in trouble, but I didn't go much to school. <laughs> that yes. was also a part of the problem. Yeah, yeah, that's. That's where I think we're similar. Our stories yeah. start to, you know, diverge once, you know, you were, a, you were in punk rock bands, I was in punk rock bands, then you became the mayor of Iceland, and I didn't. Uh, you know, mayor, yeah. of Reykjavik, yeah. mayor of Reykjavik. But you were, you were a stand-up comedian. You still are a stand-up comedian, right? Yeah, I'm a comedian. Yes. I'm a stand-up comedian. I've uh, uh, been in uh, TV, movies, stand-up, radio. In, in Icelandic? In Icelandic. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, All my that, life. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, most of my life. Not all my life. Not 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 when I was. <laughs> not when you were a, a baby. We're a, we're a baby. Yeah, no, yeah. No. <laughs> well, very few babies in America do stand-up comedy. Some some do. Some, some do. Some do. Yeah. yeah. They're not very successful. Yeah. No, they. <laughs> they're no good. God. No. <laughs> but you've had this fascination for Iceland for a long. Uh, yes, time. I have. Yeah. I, well, I I don't know why. I think. Originally uh, from maybe the Sugar Cubes years ago, which were a great Icelandic band. Yeah, and, great. And, uh, and, uh, <laughs> thanks, people from Iceland. <laughs> and and well-informed hipsters. <laughs> uh, and, then, uh, and then, you know, uh, Sigur Rós uh, became, I've been fascinated. There's a documentary that Dean Dubois did on Sigur Rós, which is a very beautiful look at Iceland. Heima. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. amazing looking yeah. place. It's a, it's a beautiful documentary. And, and how, how did you end up being, so, you're very clearly uh, someone who's uh, more comfortable in the arts than perhaps politics. Yes, that's correct. How did that happen then, that you became the mayor of Reykjavik? <laughs> well, it was, Iceland was uh, hit really hard by the global financial crisis. We heard about it. You, you, you heard about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. went broke, yeah. Uh, yeah, technically. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what, what's the difference between being technically broke or being broke. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys have enough to eat? <laughs> yes. Then that's the difference. Uh, no, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> and uh, and uh, after that, the there was a lot of confusion and a lot of fear and anger and uh, and people were losing everything losing their houses losing their cars losing their jobs yes. and and, uh, and, uh, and we heard that we were entering into a program with the IMF that sounded very serious international monetary fund yes. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and, and uh, as i've always been an independent artist uh, uh, and I started asking around, what is the IMF? And, uh, and people, say, people said, you know what the IMF do, but what it's the first thing that the IMF does when, they, when, when, some, when some country enters a program. They, they start by cutting all funds to the arts. Really? Yeah, that's what they had, closing down theaters and all that. Holy crackers. So, so uh, 
uh, this idea just occurred to me. How about inventing a new kind of politics? <laughs> uh, I'm listening. <laughs> like, like, because, you know, I'm a comedian. I'm I'm somebody. I'm a likable guy. Mm -hmm. uh, people yes, like you are. me. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, you, you are. Like, oh, yeah, I'm a like. You're a very attractive man. I'd make out with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, for sure. And uh, maybe somebody like me can step into all this confusion. There were there were riots in front of Parliament every day, and uh, and people were getting hurt and. Uh, and I thought maybe somebody like me can step into this and uh, make a difference. And, uh, and did so, you, do you think? Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah. I made the best party. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> the best party was the new party. You called yeah, it the yeah, best I party. Yeah, I created the best party. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's the politics of no politics. I'm listening. Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not right wing or left wing. Uh -huh. It's no wing. It's, uh, it's not a political party in that sense, it's more of a democratic uh, self-help group. <laughs> this is oh, awesome. Yeah. You know, and it's, uh, uh, and I just contacted friends on Facebook. Yes. Uh, because I, 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 I needed to, uh, I needed to make, uh, I needed names to make a ballot. You know, right. And, uh, and so I contacted my friends on Facebook and asked them, um, I just invented this political party, I call it the best party, which I think is a very cool name. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm going to run in the next elections, I need people on the ballot, are you in? And people said, sure. Uh, uh, is it going to be a hard job? Nah, probably <laughs> not. <laughs> probably not. Uh, all I need is your name and a photo. Uh, so, and, th and that's how I, I, I made the ballot, and, uh, and then the campaign started, and, uh, and we had really no agenda, no manifesto, except for, uh, you know, we were trying to, we wanted to help uh, and have fun at the same time. So what, 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 would you, what did you suggest? I mean, I, I seem to remember, what I've read in the book so far is you, you said you were going to release the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park into, uh, <laughs> into parts of Iceland, is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That, that would get you elected here, I yeah. think. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, no, I, I just. But, you, uh, but what I think I, I think I'm fascinated by is that your tenure as mayor is, was very successful. Yeah. I mean, it, the the you know the the town actually thrived under the best party. They became a yes. real party. Yes. It, it, and uh, and we. Because I'm out of a job at the end of the year is what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. Well, we did a fairly good job, and uh, and I'm very proud of what we what we did, and uh, and I'm not sure why I did it. I just I, I just so felt funny. inspired, and I and I and 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 and, uh, and, and it gave me uh, joy <laughs> the whole campaign. Yeah. For for example, coming up with uh, campaign promises. You know what are, what do you stand for? And I asked people, what do you want me to stand for? <laughs> And they said, I want you to stand for, you should stand for honesty. Yeah, well, stand for honesty. <laughs> and, uh, and campaign promises. What do you want me to promise? Uh, because I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I intend to break all my promises. That's nice, yes. Yeah. Because that's tradition in politics. Right, yeah, I mean, everybody does it. You might as well be upfront about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I was, I was completely open about it. And so I, I went about and I asked people, what do you want me to promise? And people said, uh, free towels at the swimming pools. Sure, you got it. Vote for me, free towels. <laughs> Uh, now, did you break that promise? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. I, I broke you know, we, all we, have to take, we have to take a break because I have to give away some free towels. <laughs> uh, we'll be right back with Yon Nara, everybody. Yon Nara. <laughs> I think that it might be that. Welcome back, everybody. I'm talking to Yon Gar. Is that right? Is that how you say it? Yon Gar. Man, that's really good. That's a really good name. I mean, are you, Thank you. Are you going to uh, continue in politics, do you think? No. Really? No, I'm fed up. Uh, uh, uh. That's the long. I, I was mayor for four years. Right. And that's the longest uh, I've held a job ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
Oh man! So, so what now? What do you do? I, I mean, don't know. What about president uh, of Iceland? Uh, well, it's been talk of it. Uh, I don't know. I haven't made up my mind. But dude, I'm, if I'm, you're I'm recovering. Yeah, but if you're yeah. president of Iceland, you get to go to all those big, like, world things and get yeah. in the grill of those. Tutsi frutzi. Yeah. You can do it. Yeah, that would yeah, be yeah. great. Yeah, it's true, it's true, yeah. And. I gotta figure that if you're popular in Reykjavik, that might carry the vote in the rest of Iceland. You know? <laughs> yeah, the majority lives in Reykjavik. Live in Reykjavik. Yeah, right. yeah. So it's kind of, I mean, with the title of the book, uh, how I became mayor of a large city in Iceland. There only is one large city there is in Iceland. Only one city. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. So, well, I don't know. I think you should think seriously about commanding, the, you know, a position on the world stage. I think we need more people like you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, really, we do. I, I oh, people yeah. who, are, I mean, because what happens, what has happened here, certainly, it seems to me that people actually forget what their policies are, even are. Yeah. The, the, the main yeah. policy seems to be just hating the other guy. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. that gets a little old for Well, me. we need more. What we really need is empathy. We re really need more emphasis on empathy in everything in my opinion have you been have you been attacked by you must have been if you're in politics you're going to get attacked by opponents so yeah, what, yeah, what yeah. do they say about you because you were they in punk I'm rock an so idiot uh, an idiot really? I'm an idiot uh, I am a clown uh -huh. uh, I'm not qualified for the job I'm not doing my job and if I'm doing my job I'm doing it wrong <laughs> And if I'm doing something, I should be doing something that's, else. But that's what all politicians say about all other yeah, politicians. Yeah, 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 There's yeah, not yeah. really anything new in that. Uh, I think what you are, with well, the clown is an interesting analogy. You know this, uh, the clown fish? They called me the, yeah, the clown fish. Clown fish, which looks like a clown. And it swims in the tentacles of the sea anemone and it secretes sugar. So the sea anemone doesn't see it as food. It just thinks it's just something lying around. And while the sea anemone doesn't see this enemy, the clownfish is eating the sea anemone. <laughs> now, now, that's not true. But if it was, <laughs> wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, that would be great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think it's partially true. No, I think I think uh, the best party is probably going to spread all around the world. You think? Yeah, I think so. And I see the best party, the idea of the best party, and that the the fact that we were successful with it. Uh, uh, I think I see it as kind of like the first little mammals in the world of the dinosaurs. Okay. They're all underground, you know, living in burrows. <laughs> And the big dinosaurs are all walking about and say, oh, we're all dinosaurs, we rule the world, but no. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you're, uh, you're going to get some attention from folks around the world talking like that, my friend. <laughs> uh, some powerful people that don't want to hear those things. Do you ever get think, afraid? I think the eye of Sauron is turning. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I do, in a way, yeah. I think, you know, they'll start looking at you. Yeah. You know, who's this troublemaker? Ugh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're making me nervous. Yeah, I know. I think it's back to the Chuckle Hut in Reykjavik for you, young oh, fella. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, Jon, it, it's been amazing to meet you. Uh, thank you for My coming pleasure. on the show. Thank and, you uh, for having good me. Good luck with show. whatever you decide to do next. The book is called Ganar. Uh, and it's, you can buy yeah. it. Uh, we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Oh, lucky the weight missed the cat, eh, Jeff? Yeah. Wouldn't want to upset anybody with that. No, I think they're pretty upset with the Yon Ganar, I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, we had so... M I was just warming my testicle by the fire. We had so... We had so many guests tonight that, uh, and so much to talk about that we didn't do an email segment. Oh, that's right. Well, let's yeah. just do one quick thing. Okay, all right, great. All right, this is from Liz in Wheeling, West Virginia. Ever been there, Jack? Yeah, love. Yeah, Liz, sure. Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Craig, I feel badly for the guys in the horse costume on hot summer days. Does anyone bring them cold drinks during commercials? <laughs> Tell the truth. <laughs> Free beer. 
What is it? Whiskey for my men and beer for my horse? That's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that's whiskey for the front end and beer for the back end. Yeah. My horse. <laughs> and some cocaine for your robot. <laughs> Don't do drugs.